Freedom Flight to Puerto Rico. Well, Stavo and her new seductress, uh, Slut Lover Boing Bang Tong. Yeah, they're on the bus. Cappadocia to Ezrum and then uh, over to Lesbian Island. Oh, wow, yeah, so. I mean, they just have known each other for a few hours, so now uh, Wang Bang Track, she's real curious uh, about her older, experienced <laughs> Brooklyn lover. Uh, got lots of time on the bus, perfect time to uh, uh, find out how did Safo ever get to Greece? in the first place, and then over to Lesbian Island. Uh, so here's a little review. Uh, she notices that uh, Savo is a freak woman. <laughs> yeah, Goliath, yeah, six foot four inches tall, buffed, yeah, <laughs> professional boxer, bar bouncer, and well, tough times, uh, that mafia run massage parlor, yeah. Uh, but she's swift on her feet, and uh, she's, she's sleek. Fatima. We've got to practice a little bit on putting on that coil makeup, okay? Yeah, I mean, Sofo's a buffed out. She's got the six pack, huh? The abs, uh, she can take a punch to the to the gut. She won't go down on the canvas, no way. And uh, yeah, that huge Amazonian uh, Mayan arm bracelet, upper arm bracelet. Mm, yeah, mm. emerald green eyes. Ooh, and, uh, wavy auburn hair going down to the to her lower back. Oh. Yeah, native New Yorker, Brooklyn. Mm hmm And uh, so it's a uh, little surprise, uh, she finds out. Soft just now starts to ramble on about herself and her freedom flight to Puerto Rico. Yeah, her girlfriend, saxophone, same age as Moang Bang Tom, uh, 17, slender, rebellious, and uh, a prodigy on the... Uh, saxophone, especially the soprano saxophone. That's how she got her name. Saxophone, sax for short. Yeah, and uh, she loves to wail out on that. Yeah, reggae, jazz, uh, whew, uh, especially stoned on the uh, gold Colombian marijuana. And she's stoned most of the time, yeah. Well, uh, these lesbian lovers, they live in uh, Greenwich Village at the uh, corner of Bleecker and Christopher Streets in a huge warehouse with an enormous service elevator. Uh, what else does Safo do? Sergeant at arms at the uh, burgeoning movement. We're talking 1968. Lesbian liberation, any male pesky hacklers out on the street head first and uh, yeah, bounces uh, pesky uh, lesbians too out of lesbian bars upper Manhattan pocket money there huh? uh, but for her main cash yeah, she slugs it out with men in the Bro Brooklyn boxing arena She's the warm-up act. You know, people are coming in, finding their seats. Uh, she's the freak warm-up act. Uh, she riled up the hecklers. Uh, you know, uh, look at her name up on the marquee. Uh, Sappho. The swinging dick castrator. <laughs> well... Yeah, I mean, Sophos has this kind of rotating uh, part-time job scene, bouncer, boxer, 
volunteer work for the lab, uh, lesbian liberation folks. And But she's thinking, you know, look, I'm 32. Why don't I try building a career? You know, something where I actually pay state and federal taxes for the first time in my life. And so she looked around and I mean, she could bicycle to the publishing companies up on Fifth Avenue, so she landed a job in one of them. Uh, uh, Penguin Classics hired her in the accounting department, and uh, she's trying it out. First time in her life. Traditional, conventional, hourly wage employment. Now she's at work now, Thursday morning. March 19th, 1968. Yeah, 117th floor on the Empire State Building. Whoa. But uh, she catches on fast. And she realizes that uh, modern employment, old-fashioned slavery with lipstick, yeah, She's not in the mood for this kind of work this morning. I mean, if she were in the boxing ring, she is a knock, knock her boss out, grab a few hundred dollars, and then go home to a saxophone and lickety split up on her. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right, she's trying it out. And what's in front of her? <sighs> Burroughs 5000 billing machine. What a monster. It's nine feet across, four banks of keyboards. Oh, oh. Don't want to rush into that. Huh? So uh, she, she's browsing the uh, travel section from the Sunday New York Times. Uh, she notices, uh, oh, LaGuardia Airport. To Puerto Rico, $99. <laughs> That's a good price, huh? Well, she sighs. Yeah, she's, she's delaying starting real work. So she swivels over. She's got coasters on the bottom of her swivel chair. She swivels over to the window. Oh, there's a lightning storm going on amongst the skyscrapers. And uh, yeah, oh, it's dramatic. And oh, across the Hudson River, she can see a micro spot of green. That's the only green she can see in her whole world. Must be Church Park. Yeah, over there, Hoboken, huh? Well, better get to work. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> 